Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to upload into Sketchfab. Um, from here you can basically see, this is pretty much what the Sketchfab page looks like. Up in the top uh, right corner you'll probably have a create your account or login account. Choose whichever one works for you. When we need to, we'll click on the upload button. So from here you want to go into Max, make sure that you've got your model done. Um, you know, throw whatever textures it is you've got on it. Make sure all your textures are labeled so you understand what they all are. Now the trick is, make sure each one of these particular objects has its own separate base color. Okay, with its own base color, that means that SketchCab can sketch fab can actually figure out what texture applies to which particular object. Um, if you have the same texture being applied multiple times you can keep them all at the same particular color. Just remember if you apply any modifiers to it you want to uh, keep that to one specific object at a point in time. So to start off with to get this out to Sketchfab we have to uh, do an export so save it first then do export export make sure the choice file type is obj okay throw in a name that you'll actually understand so in this case i'll use transport 2 Let's save this pop-up will appear just click on export the system will then calculate everything if you do have issues with this it could be that you've got some splines in your model jump back in convert them all to um, polygons once you've done that, we now jump to the desktop, create a brand new folder. So in this case, we'll call it Transport 2. And inside Transport 2, what we're going to do is put in the OBJ and the MTL and the texture folder. Textures that we use. So we can start off by creating a folder called Textures. Then go into the project where you stored your stuff. So mine's on the desktop. Uh, test build, come in and export, locate the, as I said, the OBJ and the MTL, copy them into your new folder. Um, then from there you want to go into your scene assets and images folder, where, well, wherever else you put your textures, inside your new textures folder, copy your textures into it. So that way you've got a transport to folder or object folder with a textures folder with your textures and so forth. From here, right click, go send to compressed file. Okay, that's it. It's now ready to go up to Sketchfab. So from here, jump back to your browser. Click on the upload button. Then from here, what you want to do is you can either drag the object over or you can use the browse button to locate it. So you're bringing up your zip file now. Uh, you might find that it complains, like there could be some issues. That hasn't happened for a while. So click on continue. Here it'll upload, give it some descriptions, wait for the process. At this point, make sure you've clicked on free and saved. Once you've done that, then we can click on the edit 3D settings. This is where we're going to link up our uh, textures and our model. So when it first pops up, your model is going to look pretty silly without all those textures on it. So we go to the third tab across and from here you want to click on the highlight selectable materials so that way when you click on the drop down you'll find out which one's which and now from here just go through the process of selecting each object coming down to where it says base color click on the drop down click on textures then you choose the texture that goes with that one. Um, it'll basically go black to start with and then it'll apply the uh, texture that you've got. So any manipulations or changes you've done in Max will actually carry through here and then just rinse and repeat the entire process for every object that you've got. So once again remember if your um, base colors are the same that will be registered as one object even if they're not connected. That's how Sketchfab will recognize what it is. So from here, as I said, you just run through, find each object, go through the textures, find the correct texture and put that on. Okay. Of course, this depends on how many different textures you've got for your object. It 